Hello everyone, I'm Freddy and you're watching C7TV. I'm bringing today some Halo 3 gameplay. Yeah, you heard correct, that's Halo 3 gameplay. And I actually got this game like uh, a, few, a few days ago and I went for my collection of the Halo games. Halo 3 was the, fir the, the only Halo game that I have never played. This gameplay is from the first, from the first day I got this game. And I don't know. I have the I have the the feeling that Halo 3 is kind of easier from Halo Reach because the, the crosshairs aren't opening and you're getting the the shots correct, and you don't need to pace your shots. You can spam bullets all the time and hit your target. So I think that's kind of easier from uh, Halo Reach. I like uh, I like Halo 3 and Halo Reach the same. Kind of different gameplay, but the games are great. Also, the ga these two games are great. And I'm playing here on the map Valhalla. This is the first time I play this game. As I said, I also I, I but I have played the uh, Re uh, Halo Reach a lot and Halo One a lot, and on the Halo One on the PC of course. I'm out of bullets here, trying to find the the BR. I was I was about to say DMR, <laughs> but uh, last uh, the last second I corrected my mind. Uh, the BR, yeah, and here this guy got me with the the shotgun. I don't even know where the freaking uh, guns spawn on this map. So I did quite well on this. I uh, got I think uh, 13 kills, and the first guy got uh, I think 14, and we won the game. Uh, I don't know what's happening in this game. This is probably some noobs playing because uh, it's not. Uh, I, I I don't understand why I'm even killing one of them because at this time this game came out uh, 2007. So at this time the the guys uh, pl uh, playing this this game was were. Probably are, are probably pros not right now, but they I think they transitioned to Halo Reach and the noob stayed playing Halo 3. I, I don't I don't know what happened. Anyways, <coughs> uh, this map is quite interesting. It has some rocks you can snipe and stuff, but I don't even know where the sniper spawns. And I'm doing here some uh, I think I think it's a Grand Theft Auto. I'm running around like crazy with no one to change and running a lot that freaking stupid. And the gameplay of Halo 3, I have the feeling that's kind of slower than uh, Halo Reach. This guy thought that he's gonna like uh, uh, run over me with the uh, mongoose, like uh, if, like running with five miles an hour. <laughs> Anyways, um, trying to get some shots here. Someone shooting me. I don't even I don't even know the spots of this map, so I'm kind of hiding here to to get some cover. Be cover because you, because I don't know where I'm not I'm even uh, getting bullets from. So I'm seeing this guy trying to put some bullets, and he just gets in the warthog and runs away. And actually, there's a guy across the map there, shooting me, and he thought he's gonna he's gonna come running and kill me. That was stupid of his. I don't know why he did this. He could have killed me, but from across the map. And then I tried to go from uh, where he came from to see what's what's going on, where is the where is the spot, and I jump here, and I'm like, oh, there you were, you freaking bastard. <laughs> Anyways, um, the gameplay is about 11 minutes long. The, as I said, the um, the Halo 3 gameplay, if, uh, also the we're playing 4 vs 4 here, so it's kind of slow. In Halo Reach 4 vs 4 is uh, uh, way faster than this. Imagine even the if you're playing 5 vs 5 on Halo Reach, it's, it's crazy faster than this one. This one is very slow. You can pace yourself. You can place uh, you pr uh, yourself in any position of the map you want because we're like eight guys in a freaking huge map. For some reason, I can't join the playlist. Every playlist I want because the game uh, requi requires me to go and buy the DLCs. And yeah, about the DLCs, I wanted to say that uh, here I thought I was Rambo, and guess what happened? And uh, about the DLCs, guys, I have my, I have a theory about the DLCs. If you were, I don't know what age you are, most of you watching this, but when I was a kid and playing games, there weren't any DLCs coming out or even expansions. Expansions were very tough to. For uh, you were seeing expansions uh, very rarely because no one uh, went out and paid like uh, 20 30 euros to, to buy an expansion to get like uh, one extra gun and some maps. So the DLC is just an extra way to get some money. The, the maps that they, they are giving every DLC, there are maps that already the company and the developer company has already made, and they're just holding, holding the maps back. 
and they're releasing them as DLC to get some extra money. I think that's very cheap, company-wise. I think that's very stupid, and I don't recommend you guys playing uh, paying DLC, by uh, paying money for buying DLC, because it's just the content that you have all you you have the right to already have f uh, because you bought the game and they want money for it so I'm against DLCs guys strongly against DLCs and I think that's a cheap uh, a cheap way to get some extra money it's like it's like paying subscription to playing a game like go and something that's that's very cheap that's very unprofessional from the companies and I think they just found guys that that are willing to play pay some money to play some extra to to play some extra and I think that that's kind of cheap also about the Xbox Live that, that you're paying the service of Xbox Live, in my opinion, is very legit, and it's. Uh, I think it's. It's not. You could have the same service if you weren't paying. I think. I'm not a professional about the economics and stuff of Microsoft, so I don't know. But uh, the service is legit. I don't have any uh, complaints about Xbox Live. So um, the price is not extremely high. It's not like you're playing 15 euros uh, a month. It's like if you get a card for six months or three months or one year, it's like around. It's around uh, three euros uh, a month. So it's quite cheap. And the service is very legit, so I don't have any complaints about it. So th that's why I'm paying for it. But paying paying for the Xbox Live and paying the game and paying extra for a DLC, it's it's just a way to empty your wallet, because all the money you're paying, you're getting a game. Okay, you're paying like sixty dollars, fifty euros to to take get a game, and then you're paying for your Xbox Live service. Okay, that's around. I don't know, in my country it's around 60, 60 euros a year, it's, so it's one extra game a year. And if you're play, paying for the DLCs, and let's say uh, the, the DLC is around 9 euros or 13 euros uh, for, for the DLCs for the extra maps of uh, Halo and uh, Black Ops and all these games. So if you get the DLCs for this one, it's also around one or two games extra a year. So if you're you're just getting nothing, you're getting some some extra megabytes for maps that you have uh, you you should already have, and it's it's around three games a year. So I think it's 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 kind of rape, and I don't recommend it to anyone to go and buy all the DLCs for the maps. Except if you're if you're uh, a guy that loves charity, charity giving charity. And love, and you want to support the developers. Let's say you want to support the 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 company that made the Crisis 2, and you want to support uh, Crytek. And let's say you you go and uh, and you go and buy the DLCs of the map. But uh, just so you know, the most of the money go to the publisher EA or the Activision or Microsoft, anyways. So I don't recommend it, anyways. If you want to just make a donation to developers or something, I don't know. Anyways, get the um, the gameplay is closing to an end here. I'm trying to get some kills. As I said, the gameplay is very slow, as you see. I think I got this. Oh no, I didn't. I thought I thought I got this guy, and I should have. But anyways, these guys, the opposite team is quite terrible, and I think my team is quite terrible too because there's not a lot of action going on around. Uh, the map is huge for some reason, and in my opinion, they shouldn't have uh, add this uh, map to the playlist of the Team Slayer. It's ki quite uh, big for a uh, four vs four. The shotgun here is quite useless because the map is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> and um, I'm running around here like an idiot. I'm ki kind of bored at this point, and I just posted this game to say, guys, if if a game is here, this guy he think he's gonna. Look at this. <laughs> this guy thought that he's gonna, he's gonna like. Uh, look at how freaking stupid was that guy. He th he thought he. Oh, I'm debugging him. Take that. <laughs> I love debugging, guys. T debugging is my, my professional. I, in Halo, I, I even debug in all on uh, games that uh, they no no one debugs. I even debug on uh, I debug on Call of Duty. I debug on uh, Homefront. I debug on Crisis. I debug on Halo. I debug on, on every freaking game. I debug even uh, on MMOs. Anyways, this guy is so oblivious about my existence. 
I don't even know. This is my first game, and I don't even uh, knew the, the the buttons because the buttons were the button uh, layout was quite different from the Halo Reaches. So, and the game has also this uh, stuff that they call equipment. Quite uh, stupid. I prefer the armor perks. And here there's a guy with the, I think with the Spartan laser, and I'm sniping him. Oh, oh, they just gone down here. I thought, I thought uh, that there was no freaking way he could kill me across the map and uh, with the Spartan laser, and I had the sniper. But I guess that's that's doable. And um, the game is, as you see, has like one minute and thirty seconds to end. And I'm kind of bored at this point. And as I was saying before. If you guys, if you guys playing a game, okay, and you're not having fun, okay, like, like uh, I, I don't know, you're playing like Call of Duty, and you're just playing for the KD, and you're not having fun. There's no point playing this game, guys, because games. That's why they are called games. When you're playing like basketball with uh, with your friends or football, and uh, the old-fashioned games, or you're playing like a table, a tabletop uh, game, like uh, you know, Dungeons and Dragons and stuff, and you're not having fun. There's no point playing this game because games are for having fun, and not getting candy, and raids and games and stuff. Okay, so guys, try to have fun. The game is ending, and thank you for watching. See you later.